Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to teach multi-step word problems to grade three. There's a few different key things I like to teach my students. Um, one is to circle the key words or key numbers. So as they're reading the word problem, have them circle the information that's relevant that they're going to use in the equation. Then have them set up the equation. And then have them solve the equation after they've set it up. And the last step is to remember the units. A lot of times, kids will get the right answer, but they'll forget to label it with the right units, and you'll have to mark points off. So that's very important. Let's look at a sample problem. Let's say that the problem is dealing with area. Um, third graders might be starting area and perimeter. So perhaps you, know, you have a word problem that says that um, you, know, you want to uh, find the area of a lawn where there's, let's say, five um, feet by seven feet, okay? So then you set up your, you know, you're going to have to have, have them circle the key numbers, five and seven. Then have them set up an equation. What do they know for area? They know that area, A, equals the length times the width. So five times seven. Then have them solve that. A is going to equal 35. Then the final step is the units. Make sure that they include the units. This is going to be feet, and because it's area, it's going to be squared. Feet squared. And that is how you solve a multi-step word problem. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with me today.